Hi, this is Tim. Today we're going to go through how to set up trending in Rockwell Automation's Connected Components Workbench software. For this video, we're going to be using the Allen Bradley Micro 820 PLC. Uh, this is a hybrid trainer. We're going to do some communications lessons between the Compact Logics and the Micro 820, and I just didn't want to tear it down. And we're going to be using the PLC Tools Sim ALP2, that's the analog simulator. And it has a couple of automated simulation features that we're going to use just to simulate signals going up and down. Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We put out at least one automation video a week. And any questions that come up, feel free to put them in the comments. Your question this week could easily be next week's automation topic. We're going to start with a new program and we'll just call it Trend. And we're going to be using a Micro 820 PLC. It's a 2080 LC2020 20 QWB. And we'll add it to our project. And let's go ahead and set up our Ethernet configuration at 192.168.110 with a subnet of 255.255.255.0. And that's it. We're done for program. We're going to do the rest of it online. So let's go ahead and download our program. And if you need any help downloading your program or configuring drivers or any of that, just look in the description. I'll have a link to this whole series where we go through all of that. And then let's open up our global variables. And we've had several analog lessons, but if we scroll down, then we will find our IOEMAI00. And that's where we have our analog simulator connected to. So we have the red lead connected to I00 and we have the black lead connected to our minus of our power supply. Now we're simulating a signal right now and we can see it going up and down. But if you actually look in your global variables, it isn't updating. And this is something that you need to make sure you're aware of when you're troubleshooting. It looks like it's stuck at 1,212. But if I click anywhere on it, it's going to update. Now it's at 1618. And if I click again, it's going to update. And you can keep clicking and it's going to be updating along with this. So this is really difficult to stare at and see what's going on. So what we can do is we can create a trend to look at that value continuously. And right over here in the left pane, you'll see we have a trends tab. So let's click it, and then let's go ahead and add a trend to this project. And there's gonna be a plus sign here that says add new traces. And a trace is a value that you wanna monitor. So we'll click it. And if we click here on the micro 820, we can go into our global variables and we'll just scroll down until we see the IOEMAI00. That's the one that we're going to do. We'll click OK. And let's just go ahead and click OK to that. And right away, it's not going to do anything. And it says right here, press the play button to begin data capture. But it took me so long to find this button here in the top left. And there's your play button. It says start trending. And if we click it, then we're going to get a graph that will look very similar to the graph that's on our analog simulator. And actually, the graph that we're getting on our analog simulator is much more crisp than what we're getting out of the Connected Components Workbench. And that has to do with its update rate. The default update rate, if we just go and click here on Properties and Sampling, it's going to be 100 milliseconds. So you may need to adjust that for your particular application. Also, you can see here, you can capture for a long time. I believe it's 30 days you can actually run this and it capture data over. I can't remember for sure. But it's a really useful feature for setting something up to see if some anomalous thing is happening occasionally and be able to walk away, come back and analyze the data later. And we're going to use this in some upcoming PID lessons that we're doing. So if you're following our PID series, when you get to where we're showing how we're doing trending, this is the video that you'll need to look at. Hope this video has been helpful. Again, please hit that like button. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. 
And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.